Good morning, everyone. So, we're looking at another on watch review. So, let's get on to it, shall we? Just gonna put my glove on. So, let's look at the box. We've got that white outside cardboard cover, Orient embossed cover. Funny enough. Revealing a really thick orient and heavy watch with a simple, I think it's a folding lid. Is it folded? Yeah, just a simple folding lid that comes out underneath it. Nice styling to the watch, nice uh, watch box, nice sharp corners, and nice and smooth. Very, it reveals itself in the same sort of way like a Seiko might, with a sort of separated instruction manual and a nice cushion as well. With the fabric of the actual cushion and everything inside, it seems to hold together really nicely. Grips onto each other, doesn't just fall out. So here we go guys, this is called the Orient Sun Moon 42mm. With a 12mm case thickness, retails at £500, it's quite a pricey watch, but offers a nice classic style to it and uses an automatic F6B24 with a 48 hour power reserve. Nice fully domed sapphire glass on top there. Look at those hands, look at this. hands. And a simple Roman numeral style inkling system going on around here. With a date dial that shows three days rather than just the one. You obviously got a date dial and that's the moon, sun and moon dial. Has a weirdly nice way of uh, sort of making these dials merge together. A nice chocolate style, sunray style dial, as you can see from the reflective nature of it. Full, fully rose gold finish going all the way around the casing. PVD plated case. Nice gliding movement as well to the watch. Full stainless steel going all the way around the outside, no sort of extra printing or anything like that. Let's have a look at the crown movement. Nice strong movement to the crown. And a bi-directional transition crown. And that moon dial rotates around with the watch, revealing the sort of sun and day star. rather than being an actual moon phase. Let's go out to the strap. We've got a 22 mm star strap here if you ever wanted to change that. We need a 22 mm strap for it. Come around the back, full skeleton style view of that automatic movement going in the back there. With the full sort of extra, some extra markings as well. So there's Epson on it, which is the name of a printing company actually. Just a bit more information about the marking on the back there. No easy access port for the um, to get the strap off, so you just have to big that um, strap removal tool in the side of the strap. Full orange style strap rather than the German, uh, like an unbranded one. Single line stitch going all the way down the side. No sort of metal enhancers inside the rings, so this will stretch over time if you wear it in a tight setting and a nice buckle as well with the rose gold finish. So there we go guys, that is the Orient Sun and Moon 42mm.